inside the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Before he led the Red Raider offense, Seth Dagey was a promising quarterback that first caught the eye of not a coach, but an administrative assistant. Really, the only reason I got put on Texas Tech radar is because Jenny Bailey, she actually is from Idaloo and watched me play Idaloo in a, in, a, in a playoff game. And she came back and told Leach and the staff about me. Came to camp that summer, Leach pulled me aside and, and, and offered me. And I hadn't played a down at Friendship yet. And unfortunately, that's where it, that's where it ended too. Daggy committed to Tech after his sophomore year at Crane, but after back-to-back -back ACL tears sidelined him his junior and senior year, the QB says he was preparing for the worst. I remember where I was and how that phone call went because I was scared to death that they were going to pull my scholarship. Leach and, and Lincoln were just, hey, you're our guy. Rehab, let's go to work. Tech taking a chance and keeping Daggy would pay off time and time again. We ran those plays over and over and it didn't matter. I mean, you knew what was coming, but you couldn't stop it. Now at USC, Daggy is reunited with another Red Raider record holder and Graham Harrell. But there's no question who has bragging rights in the meeting room. Nobody remembers any of my games, but you can go to LA and people are going to remember that Texas Tech Texas game in 08. So he's got me beat. And now another Daggy is making a name for himself in the Big 12 younger brother Jarrett. And when the Mountaineers come to Lubbock in October, you won't catch Daigie sporting the red and black. Any other team, I'm Red Raider all the way, but if it's USC or West Virginia right now, I'm, I'm rooting for those guys. For KLBK Sports, I'm Leah Doherty.